What's up, my faithful minions? This is Master Maniac, and I'm back for another episode of Age of Engineering. Um, if if you guys saw my channel update, my last one, you'll understand why I'm in creative mode right now. Uh, don't worry, I'm gonna switch back to survival later on. But basically, I ended up the something got corrupted. One of the one of the blocks. I I had an issue, and I couldn't fix it with the server. So what I did is I created an entirely new world. I went ahead and updated the pack and made it with the uh, with the seed of the world that was on the server that I'd originally started with. And so we've got our nice pretty biome like I wanted. Uh, we also have a slime island up there, which was not there before. Maybe something changed with tinkers or something in the way they spawn. But if we come in here, we'll see... Well, first off, my nice pretty tunnel is gone, and honestly, I don't really think I need it. So, um, I've got the trophy room back. No trophies up here. I wanted to save getting those, or getting the fir the ones that I had back until I was on camera. Um, got my solar panels back. I made some roads, but I'm not entirely sure about the material. I, I kind of like it, but it's a little bit much, you know? Um, grid power is weird because it was showing like 3,000 something the last time I got into this world. Um, a lot of stuff now is using item conduits instead of transfer nodes because I'm at the tech level where I can make those. Um, as far as all this stuff goes, I just threw some in there. I knew that I had a lot of redstone, so there's about 10 stacks in there. There's there are 10 stacks of redstone blocks. There's a stack of lapis blocks. Obviously not a stack of diamond blocks. I didn't have that much. Uh, but I did have a crap load of coal and some osmium. Probably about a half a stack of steel blocks. It's, it's all stuff that I feel is in fair proportions. Um, and that's just... If you guys notice that the numbers on these are different, remember, I had to go into creative mode and completely remake this world, or this base, from scratch. So, only a handful of things is different. Uh, up here, all the powers run the same and everything. You'll notice I don't have the Empower, because getting the Empower gives you a trophy, and I didn't want to set that up without you guys. Um... I still have the HV capacitor, but I added a blah, 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 I added an LV capacitor over here, and that just runs out the side and runs straight down, and it powers the greenhouse and it powers the uh, the the what's it called the blast furnace. There we go. Um, one of the things I didn't do yet that I realize I forgot is give myself back the patterns for this thing. Uh, and put a hopper under here to go into a chest to collect it all. But I can I can do that later. Also the redstone clock. I need to get that as well. But that, once again, is a thing that can be done later. Um, yeah, I, I think that, and over here, I went ahead and set up the mob farm and everything the same way, at least I think the same way it was last time. Um... I might be using a different kind of spikes, or maybe there was a bug with the spikes before. Because I have diamond spikes in there currently. Maybe I was using... Was I using iron spikes before? I, I don't know. But it's... It costs about three block Two... No, it's two blocks of diamond for each recipe of iron spikes. So it's, it's not, like, crazy expensive. And basically I have an overflow system here. So, I can unflip this lever and you'll see stuff like bows come in here. I'm just leaving it running. Uh, but now we're getting mob heads, which is, which is cool. Um, that changed. The, uh, this stuff changed. A little bit of this stuff is going to look like it's in different places, because it is. Uh, I went ahead and moved the prude seeds and the coal dust into storage drawers. And they have a diamond upgrade on them, which is no big deal. Um, I, I mean to say it's no big deal to craft. This is all the same. I'm pretty sure I had enriched coal in there anyway. Um, 
And then this thing is pretty much exactly the same as the way we left it. Uh, I actually think I managed to get this in the exact same spot somehow, which is awesome. Uh, now that I think about it, I might have been able to use MC Edit to put all this stuff back, but I just did the work and took some hours and did stuff. Uh, you'll notice these these things are looking really, really light. Um, I basically put the valuable stuff in here that I knew that I had. Uh, most of that by looking back and going through videos and stuff. Um, and if there's anything you guys feel is not fair, just go ahead and let me know. But we are going to... We're going to... Go ahead and give ourselves some things. Oh, cool. So giving it to yourself does not immediately trigger next stage. Uh, where is... That's age four. Calculator triggers age two. Where's... Power is age three. Uh, sturdy casing is age four. And then machine chassis is age five. So... And actually, I need to get myself some display stands there we go just because I knew I had it now game mode S and hopefully this is the last time I have to actually change my game mode uh, should be able to throw this stuff on the ground oh no oh no it's not giving me the trophies what Hold on. Oh, do I actually have to craft it? Oh, no. Uh, achievements. Age of Engineering. Yeah, I actually have to craft these. Okay. Well, give me a second and I'll be right back with all the stuff that I need to do that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am back, and I think I've got everything I need. Now, these two, I'm pretty sure I can just drop on the ground and make. But we've got to go through actually making the other stuff. Oh, my God, the dog and the cat are going nuts. There we go. So there's the forge hammer. Now I need, I believe, the calculator? Yeah, oh, let's go ahead and turn that off. That was from when I was trying to build everything. So that's two of them. Okay, so I've got my calculator. Now I need to make the... This thing. There's the third trophy. And then should just have to drop that. Pick it up, there we go. Ah! Oh, and then I just got the machine chassis. So I have two trophies for the sturdy casing. That's strange. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and put these in the trophy room, I guess. And I guess if I have a duplicate, it can go in the garbage, because there's no reason to have two. So there's the forge hammer. Oh, great. Forge hammer, calculator, empowerer. Sturdy casing and machine chassis. There we go. Fantastic. I keep trying to fly and I can't fly anymore. Um, I'm going to keep cheats enabled for now. Actually, there is a trash can right on my home. I'm going to keep cheats enabled for now just in case we have any catastrophic issues uh, like we did before. <coughs> hey, hey, hey. No need for that rude i'm over here trying to record and he needs to make all sorts of noise actually you know what there is one more thing i forgot to give myself and that was the scientific calculator um so let's go ahead and do that uh yeah yep okay so now that we've got that out of the way you can see here here's a bunch of tools that i built 
Um, I didn't make anything out of materials that I didn't already have or materials that would have been a problem for me. Cobalt is like super easy to get. It's just wherever in the nether. And then all the rest of this is stuff I already had. I don't remember if I'd showed y'all the builder's wand, but I did have one in the last episode. And it's also really easy to get. I also forgot to put down my experience obelisk. Good thing you guys reminded me. There we go. No, 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 no. I just, I just need one, please. There we go. And you should be disabled. Fantastic. Now all of our experience that was in there is gone. Oh well. It's the price you pay. Um, I'm 90% certain everything that's in here is all the important stuff. Obviously, I had way more than this in my bag of holding, but I'm, I'm not that worried about it. Anything I had, I can probably make again pretty easily. So, let me go and set this stuff up, and I'll catch up with you guys in a minute. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I am back. I went ahead and got the Empower set up. Um, I put away the extra machine casing and... Or machine chassis and sturdy casing. I, I don't know if I'm going to trash them or not. I mean, I probably should. But then again, my whole world got destroyed. And I had to rebuild this from scratch. So there's, there's also that. Uh, what I want to do is actually get into making one of these. So with this, I can actually basically create my own types of spawners. And I want to spawn guardians. And the reason I want to use this is because I can put it on a spawner that already exists and then dump a drop of evil or click it with a drop of evil and make it a restored mob spawner, which doesn't require power to use. And we certainly have the grid power for it. So the problem with this is this thing here. I can make magma cream. That's no problem. Uh, I've got four spawner shards and four is all I need. Uh, the Empowered Diamantine, however, takes this stuff, which is found at the very top or the very bottom of the nether. This, which is smelted peat, which we have extra of. Uh, fertilizer, that's pretty easy to make, even though... Right, I didn't give myself any appetite. You know what? It's a good opportunity to gather stuff, some, some stuff like that legitimately. Um, and the last thing I... Blah, 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 blah. The last thing that I will need is lithium dust. So to make lithium dust, I need a thermal centrifuge. Oh no. Which means that I'm gonna have to increase my power tier over here. Oh no. Hmm. I didn't really think about that. I didn't think about the fact that it was a tier two thing. Uh, give me a minute, and let me figure out how I want to go about that. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so the first thing I'm going to need is one of these babies, and then we'll look into getting transformer upgrades. Uh, but basically, the copper cable can already handle 120 ADU per tick, and I'm pretty sure... Well, let's, let's look. The transformer upgrade is actually pretty cheap. So it's an MV transformer, which is a basic machine, which is iron plates, plus a pair of insulated copper cables, and then some glass, some gold, and an electronic circuit. That doesn't look too terribly expensive to me. So I think I'm going to make, what is that, one, two, three, four, five, six of those. And that'll get me ready for when I get to the level of, uh, what's it called? The, 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 the speed upgrades. Overclockers. There we go. Uh, which I'm pretty much going to have to wait for. Oh God, I, I don't even remember. I'm pretty much going to have to wait for nuclear power to do that. Maybe. But I'm going to need a crap load of bronze for this, which is copper plus 10. It's silver. What, dog? What do you want, you poor... 
No, oh, excuse me. Oh, you poor dog. You're so abused. Anyway, I'm gonna dump these in the smeltery. Ah, uh, I forgot to give myself the the stuff and make the hoppers. Damn it! This episode is gonna be full of weirdness. All right, I'll be right back. So, ladies and gentlemen, I just realized this recipe is a little bit weird. Lead dust. Why does lead dust go into a battery? Maybe there's something about making batteries that I'm not aware of. But sulfur dust, I'm lucky because gunpowder can be turned into sulfur dust in an extractor. And I need three, so it should go by pretty quickly. I have, here we go. Extractor. There we go. Alright. Is my lead dust done? Sure is. Alright, I'll catch up with you guys in just a moment. And CESU. There we go. All of the materials. So I should be able to just pop this guy off of here. And obviously not be able to reach him because I'm a derp. Uh... Now, I believe, if I recall correctly, the output side of all of these machines always faces towards you when you place them. I think. God, I don't know. Eh. Let's see. Yep, there we go. Oh, no. Dang it. Now I'm going to have to take down two pillars. Uh, where did that cable go? And now I realize that I could have just gone upstairs. That ought to be fine. I don't think that thing's even receiving 32 EU per tick. It shouldn't be. But it will hold... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Mm, be right back once I get this damn thing rotated properly. Blew up my furnace and some of the cables it was attached to. Went ahead and put this thing back. Because, uh, we're going to need transformer upgrades. Uh, and I should be able to make them without the thing. Yeah, it's just going to take some circuits. So I'm going to have to get a new furnace. That's going to take a minute. I guess I'll be right back once I'm ready to craft all these guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got the glass, which is the final part. And, oh, no, it's not. It's the gold cable. Okay. Uh, I don't know if this goes into threes or twos. If that goes into threes, that'll be nine. That'll be twelve. Oh, it goes into four. Okay. I'm going to need a little bit more rubber. I actually have some over here. But that's like the easiest part to craft. I need to set up some, uh, some trees for that. Wait, wait, wait. Is it... Yeah, it's the 2x. Oh, no. That's a weird bug. Doesn't really hurt anything, it's just weird. There we go. So there's the double insulated gold cable. Now I should be good to make... Yeah, six of those. Fantastic. Oh, I have to get the furnace. <laughs> be right back. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. That is taken care of. I've got a transformer upgrade in everything. So that's, that's no big deal. Now I need to get the Thermal Centrifuge. Mm, oh, Expensio, Expensio. Oh no, oh no. Oh hey, you can just grind one of these back down. Interesting. Um. This is gonna, this, this is gonna, 
This is going to take a minute. Uh, advanced circuit. Excuse me. 800,000 RF. 400,000. Oh, this is... This is ridiculousness of the grandest degree. What do I need to make one of those? Oh, good. Prismarine. And blue slime crystals. What do I... How do I make... Blue slime and dirt and sand. Actually, I've got a slime island over there with some blue slime in it, so I can do that. Um, and I already know how to make Rostonia crystals. So, I guess... I guess I'll be back when when I'm ready to do this. Because this is all going to be pretty expensive. Alright, so I've got everything made except for the, uh, the, the mining laser, I believe it was. Got all of that sitting right here. Right here and ready to go. The main holdup is these empowered palace crystals. So I decided to do a block of them, thinking that would be a good idea. Um, which requires 8 million RF to make. I went ahead and fished up a fish. The blue slime crystals actually weren't that bad. Cobalt, eh, it is what it is. And we can nether quartz into prismarine with the atomic reconstructor. So that's not a problem. What is a problem is the empowered stuff. That palace crystal has been sitting on there for, I don't know, probably the better part of 20 minutes now? And it just, it's not even close. Well, I don't know. It's got to be at least halfway, right? Because each of these holds 800,000 and then this holds like 4 million. And this thing's halfway done. It's been receiving power the whole time from the water mills. So, it, it should be very close. It's just, it's taken forever. Oh my god. I'll be back with you guys once I get, because I, I have to do the Restonia as well. So, I guess I'll be back with you guys whenever I get the rest of the empowering taken care of and make that damn advanced circuit. Oh my god. Finally. 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 After... Oh god, probably about an hour's worth of crafting. I have an advanced circuit. Oh dear Jesus, what a wonderful day this is. Oh, give me that sweet, sweet, whatever the crap this is, mining laser. Oh yes, yes, please, please and thank you. Let's come over here and just, oh, oh, quit bouncing. And let's, let's shove this mining laser in here. And we have... A thermal centrifuge. Oh, it is so wonderful. Uh, let's disable that. Uh, okay, cool. So now I need to get 18 of these. And I should be able to dump 18 of these in here. And it's going to take a minute to heat up. And it should produce some lithium dust. Maybe. I don't know. But it looks like it's probably going to take a minute. I don't know. We'll wait for it to heat up and see how long the first run takes. Oh, cool. I can see rest. This must be the progress bar. And there it goes. There's a little bit of yellow in there. Okay, this is going to take a while again, so I guess I'll be right back. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I am back and I finally have some damn lithium dust. Took long enough. Um, if I'm... Ooh, I should sleep and make the rain go away. Um, now, there is no way in hell I'm going to sit here and wait eight bajillion years for a diamantine crystal block to cook up knowing that it's going to take approximately 50% longer than the palace crystal. So next episode, we're going to look into some better power. Um, if I can afford it, I'm going to just skip straight ahead to the biofuel from Immersive Engineering, because it's actually pretty good, um, especially for what we're doing. I mean, I don't need the most ridiculous of, of power.
power gen right this second. Um, that, that can wait until we're able to get into environmental tech, honestly. Um, and having some HV wires wouldn't hurt nothing. I might just switch to conduits on the inside up here. Maybe. Um, might look into a... Let's see... Vibrant capacitor bank. So that's octatic capacitors. So that's going to be 2, 4, 4, 8, 12, 16 basic capacitors. That's going to be expensive. Um, and a vibrant crystal which needs an emerald. Oh no. Great. All right. Well, I, I I don't I don't I don't know exactly what we're gonna do, but what I do know is that this just is not cutting it, and it, at the very least we're we're gonna have to figure out something out of curiosity. What do you cost? Just double layers a block of redstone. Well, that's not bad. You're going to cost a Vibrant Crystal either way. Hmm. Okay. Well, anyway, I've spent as much time as I would like to spend on today's episode trying to get all of this all of this stuff done so we could go do a mob spawner. That was the original plan, and that absolutely fell through. Uh... <laughs> Absolutely because of the palace crystals and stuff. But at least, at least we have a new machine. Oh joy. And we did upgrade these a little bit. Um, I'm actually thinking about it. Yeah, I got a crap load of these. So I'm going to go ahead. Oh my god. I'm going to go ahead and eat all of these. Thank you, Diamond Spikes, which I'm not so sure that I had beforehand, but it's it's only cheaty if uh, if I wouldn't if I wouldn't have been able to get to it before, at least in my philosophy. And like I like I told you guys, I didn't give myself anything that I wouldn't have easily been able to get. So anyway, thank you, thank you to everybody for bearing with me through. All the world issues and, and all that good stuff. Oh my. I am low on power. Real low. Yeah. Thank you for bearing with me and, you know, that keeping in mind that I literally lost everything and had to rebuild all of this from scratch. It was in creative, so it wasn't the worst thing ever. But it was still a ginormo pain in the butt. So, if uh, if you guys enjoyed the episode, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, sub it down below. And uh, I guess I guess I'm gonna see you guys next time. Y'all take it easy.